my here all day. Got some delicious tacos tonight. Hey, good afternoon, Captain Stan here. And today we're gonna to talk about two different ways we catch mahi. So one way we like to catch mahi is by chunking. And let me show you what we like to do. We used to like, we like to use these number three owner gorilla hooks, tiny little hooks. Uh, they are multi-purpose, but we're gonna talk about how we use them for chunking for mahi. And we like to use floral carbon. So a couple feet, maybe three feet to six feet of floral, anywhere between 20 to 30 pounds, because they can become leader shy. So you don't want to use too heavy fluorocarbon. So all you have to do is you attach a fluoro to your hook. And then normally what you'll do is to get the mahi, you'll look for structure, you'll look for pots or floating weeds or uh, even debris. If you see bags or balloons or buckets, there might be mahi there. So what we'll normally do is we'll just drive up to the boat really slow. I mean, drive up to this object really slow and then we'll throw some bait at it. So th throw a couple pieces of squid or some uh, bunker, just small pieces of bait and see if anything comes up, even Achilles. Uh, Achilles is a, a little live fish that we get a lot up here in Jersey. So you throw it, you see if there's anything there. And then you, what you do after that, just attach your bait to the hook, throw it in, and then you'll very likely catch something with that until they finally learn that, hey, my friends are missing. And then you move on to the next spot. Now, the other way we like to catch mahi is by trolling. So there's a couple things that you could do for trolling. Uh, we like to use these small little lures here, usually pink, these jet head designs. And for floral, you want to keep it pretty light as well. Uh, between 50 to 60 floral. If you know there's bigger fish in the area, uh, you could go a little bit heavier, but they can be leader shy. And then a must add, uh, Oshak Hennessy hook, number seven. You just attach it to your lure and then you troll it at around five to six knots. And then uh, sim similar to what we did with the, the uh, objects for the chunking hooks, very similar with this. You find something, you find a pot, you find some structure, you find some debris floating, just drive your lures right near it and you'll very likely hook up. So these are the two different ways we like to catch mahi. Uh, there's other ways as well, but these have been very, very uh, productive for us. We've caught 40 mahi on, uh, on trips every single time you target them by doing these two different tricks. We're at the Tom's Canyons. I'm taking the boys here. We're gonna get some mahi on the jig. Let me show you how it's done. Just throw a jig in, let it sink a little. Right there. There we go. Just like that. Mahi all day. Got some delicious tacos tonight. How many do we have in the boat now, Stan? 30 in the box. Boat limit. Hey, this is Captain Stan here. If you like what you're seeing, you want to learn more, like and subscribe. Click below.